When it came to winning the American Athletic Championship last season, it wasn't Houston, but Houston's opponents that had the problem. The Cougars won 13 games last season, the AAC title, and a major bowl by beating Florida State. An overwhelming number, 27. Number of victories that Tom Herman has amassed in just the last two seasons. Remember two years ago, he was offensive coordinator during Ohio State's national championship run. 14 wins there and 13 wins last year in his debut as Houston head coach. And last year's Cougars offense had 40 points per game, one of the tops in the country. About half the starters returned for Tom Herman's squad, led by Greg Ward Jr., the dual threat QB, over 1,000 yards rushing and nearly 2,900 yards through the air. You got him back, and maybe the ground game will take a little heat off of Ward. That is with the transfer, Duke Catlin. Used to play at Texas, had to set a year out because of transfer rule. But they're going to miss the wideout in the form of Demarcus Ayers. Left early would surprise a lot of people. But they did return Chance Allen and Stephen Dunbar along with the tight end, Tyler McCleskey. But some more cast to be done up front with only one full-time starter back, and that is the center, Will Noble. Unfortunately, Colton Freeman had to retire due to neck injury. If you were the opposition driving inside Houston's 20-yard line, most likely you were getting points. 91%, that's how often Houston gave up points when opponents drove in the red zone. 71% of the time, the opposition scored touchdowns. But of course, it wasn't all doom and gloom for the Cougar D. They were number two in the country in turnover margin, plus 21, including 35 takeaways. Defensive line was a big reason why. Should be a strength again with the likes of DJ Singleton back. And remember this name, the true freshman, Ed Oliver, one of the top recruits in the country, played his high school ball at Houston last season, so staying close to home. Now, five of the back eight, they play three, four alignment, have to be replaced, including the first round draft pick in William Jackson the third. You do return at corner, Brandon Wilson. Naturally, that takes away ratio needs to remain high for Houston to have more success. Give me a keg of beer. Two pretty attractive non-conference games for the Cougars, including the opener against, well, my Sooners, but OU will have their hands full. Late November, Louisville comes to town and the Cardinals have a very good D. An intriguing conference game will occur in late September against UConn. The Huskies were the only team to beat Houston a year ago. This season will be more challenging than last, but they're still the most talented team in the AAC. I look for Houston to win the conference and perhaps get back to a major bowl game. That's my look at the Cougars. Take care.